Hello everyone, this is Sir Mark Laroya and welcome to my channel. In this lesson video, I will be discussing the concentrations of solutions in terms of molarity and molality. In my previous lesson video discussing the concentration of solution, I presented to you the way of determining the concentration using percent concentration. If you haven't seen the video yet, you can find the link in the description of this lesson video. The concentration of a solution can be expressed in several different quantitative ways. Aside from percent concentration, we can also express the concentration of our solution in terms of molarity and molality. So let's begin with the concept of molarity. Molarity, denoted by capital M, is one of the common ways of specifying the concentration of a solution. Molarity is equal to the number of moles of our solute over the volume of our solution in liters. So meaning, it's not just simply the mass of solute but the number of moles of our solute divided by the entire volume of our solution and not just the volume of our solvent. And volume is in terms of liters. So let us now solve a problem involving molarity. Determine the molar concentration of the 400 ml solution of 50 gram dissolved sodium hydroxide. In this problem, the volume of our solution is 400 ml or equal to 0.4 liter. And then the mass of our solute, the sodium hydroxide, is 50 grams. So first thing that we have to do is to look for the number of moles of our solute. The number of moles of our solute or any OH is simply mass over its molecular weight. So the given mass in our problem of our solute is 50 grams. We divide it with its molecular weight, which is 40 grams per mole. Then we will get a value of 1.2 moles. So this is the number of moles of our solute that we will use in our formula to determine the concentration of our solution in terms of molarity. So molarity now will be equal to 1.2 moles of NaOH divided by 0.4 liter of our solution. That will give us 3 moles per liter or simply 3 molars. So this is the concentration of our solution in terms of molarity. So how do we prepare this solution with a particular molarity? So we prepare 3 molars of NaOH solution by simply first we weigh 50 grams of NaOH or sodium hydroxide and place it in a beaker. Usually this sodium hydroxide is in the form of pellets. So we can weigh 50 grams of NaOH pellets and then we add enough amount of water so that we can dissolve the solid NaOH by stirring. Then, when the NaOH is dissolved, we can add more water until we reach the 400 ml mark. So that 400 ml is the volume of our solution. So that will give us a molarity or concentration equal to 3 molars. That is how we prepare our solution. Let us solve another problem involving the concept of molarity. Determine the mass of sodium chloride dissolved in water if the concentration of the 250 ml solution is 1.5 molars. So in this problem, our solute is sodium chloride or NaCl and we have here the given the volume of our solution, which is 250 ml, or that is equal to 0.25 liter, and the concentration of our solution, which is equal to 1.5 molars. So we are asked to determine the mass of our solute. But based on our formula of molarity, 
we can only solve for the number of moles of our solute. So first things first, we solve for the number of moles of our solute. So the number of moles of our solute is now equal to the molarity times the volume of our solution. It's because if we determine the number of moles of our solute, then that's the time that we can solve for the mass of our solute. So the number of moles of our solute now would be the concentration of 1.5 molars, or that is 1.5 moles per liter, times its volume in terms of liter, and that is 0 0.250 liter, the number of moles of our solute, the NaOH, NaCl rather, is now equal to 0 0.375 moles. So, we know that the number of moles is simply mass over the molecular weight. So, to determine the mass of NaCl, that is simply the number of moles times its molecular weight. So, the mass of our solute now is equal to the number of moles that we determined a while ago, that is 0 0.375 moles, times its molecular weight, which is 58 grams per mole. So, the unit of moles will be cancelled out, and we will be living with a unit of gram, which is the unit of mass. So, the mass of our NaCl, or our solute sodium chloride, is now equal to 21.75 grams. Another way of expressing the concentration of a solution is through the use of molality. Molality is denoted by small m. The formula for molality is the number of moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. So take note that is the number of moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. So let us now use this formula in solving a problem. Determine the molality of the solution of 50 gram NaOH dissolved in 400 ml of water. So in our given, the mass of our solute is 50 grams and water which has a volume of 400 ml. Since we are after the mass of our solvent, we can solve for the mass of our solvent by multiplying the volume of water by its density, which is 1 gram per ml. So 400 ml of water is the same as 400 grams of water. So in terms of kilograms, that is 0 0.4 kilogram. First, we have to solve for the number of moles of our solute. So again, that is mass over its molecular weight. So, 50 grams divided by 40 grams per mole, that will give us 1.2 moles of our NaOH. Now, solving for the concentration of our solution in terms of molality, that is 1.2 moles of NaOH divided by 0 0.4 kilogram of water. This will give us a molality equal to 3 moles per kilogram, or simply 3 molal. So how do we prepare a solution with a concentration of 3 molal? We prepare 3 molal of any OH solution by, first, you weigh 50 grams of any OH pellets, and then you also prepare 400 ml of water in a beaker, because we already know that 400 ml of water is also the same as 400 grams or 0 0.4 kilogram of water. And then, you put the NaOH pellets in the beaker with water and stir until the sodium hydroxide is dissolved. So that is how we prepare the solution with a concentration of 3 molal. And for our last problem, how much water in ml is needed to prepare 2.5 molals of solution by dissolving 60 grams of sodium hydroxide? So in this problem, the given are 
the concentration of our solution, which is 2.5 molal, and the mass of our solute, sodium hydroxide, equal to 60 grams. For us to determine the volume of our water in terms of ml, we can solve first for the mass of our solvent in terms of kilograms using the formula of molality. So, the mass of our solvent in terms of kilograms will be equal now to the number of moles of solute over the concentration in molality. But again, we must first solve for the number of moles of our solute. So, the number of moles of NaOH is simply its given mass divided by its molecular weight. So, 60 grams divided by 40 grams per mole, that will give us a total of 1.5 moles of NaOH. So, we can now use this to solve for the mass of our solvent in terms of kilograms. So, this will now be 1.5 moles divided by 2.5 moles per kilogram. So, the unit of moles will be cancelled out and we will be having the mass of our solvent in terms of kilograms will be equal to 0 0.6 kilograms. And 0 0.6 kilograms is also equal to 600 grams. So, we have now the mass of our solvent or of our water in terms of grams. To solve for the volume of our solvent, we simply divide the mass by its density. So, 600 grams divided by its density 1 gram per ml. So, the unit of, the unit of gram will be cancelled out and we will be living it will be we will be living with a unit of ml so the volume now of our solvent in terms of ml is equal to 600 ml and that is the amount of solvent in terms of ml that is needed to dissolve 60 grams of sodium hydroxide to produce a solution with a concentration of 2.5 molal Thank you very much for watching this lesson video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, then like and share this lesson video to your friends and classmates. See you again next time and God bless.